Feeder session is kind of more of a muscle activation type of thing, getting a little of the soreness out of whatever you're gonna train next. The issue is when people are putting these in there from the, from the get-go, they're training for me, it's 12 weeks out. I need to have. Get the fuck up. Simon says, get the fuck up. Throw your hands in the sky. How do you put in feeder workouts? Feeder workouts and extra workouts or recovery workouts. Things people need to understand. And these are important things to understand. Your body, the role of your body in recovery is to adapt and overcome. So it's gonna take whatever stimulus that you're putting it under and try to adapt and overcome from that. And if it can't, then it's gonna be overtraining syndrome, you know, injuries or, or whatever it's gonna be. So these feeder workouts and these recovery workouts need to be placed into training when you need them, not because you think it's a good fucking idea. You know, so if you're making progress and you're just training four maining training days a week or five maining train or five days a week and you're making progress, there's no need for recovery workouts. There's no need for feeder workouts. It would be counterproductive to put them in. If you're starting to have a hard time recovering and there's a meet coming up or you know you have a test day coming up or whatever it's going to be and you're not able to recover the elbows are sore they're not really recovering like they should then you can put in a feeder workout if you train at night i would put it in the morning if you train in the morning i would put it in you know the night beforehand so there's at least eight to twelve hours in between two to three meals, it depends upon how they eat. If they eat small, clean meals, three meals. If they eat big, giant, shitty meals, you know, two. But you gotta have nutrients, you have to have rest and time in between there. And, um, and then use them to be able to help you recover and move forward for the rest of the training cycle until the peak date is there. Recovery sessions are the same way. Recovery and sessions are different in the form that they're they're gonna flush more blood than what a feeder session is gonna be. A feeder session is kind of more of a muscle activation type of thing, getting a little of the soreness out of whatever you're gonna train next. The issue is when people are putting these in there from the, from the get-go, they're training for me, it's 12 weeks out. I need to have two feeder workouts, I need to have three recovery workouts, I need my main workouts. And that's how they start their entire training. Well, then their body's gonna start to adapt to that. And then what are they gonna do a month out when they're not able to start recovering as, as well as they used to? They're fucked. They kind of played all their cards. You know, so you, you always, with recovery, you need to understand your body super compensates and recovers from training, okay? Your body also will become immune and adapt to whatever recovery means you're using. So that has to be cycled strategically as well as passive recovery. So if somebody uses um, massage therapy and that's all they ever do is massage therapy once a week for 52 weeks out of the year, I'll guarantee after two to three months that's not working as well because their body now became used to that. And the, the problem is that compounds all this is when you keep throwing these things in, then your body will begin to lose the ability to recover on its own from the four main training sessions. That's the goal, is to have your body be able to recover on its own without all these other aids. So they have their place, but they need to be strategically placed. Um, more specific questions on stuff like that I can answer in more detail. And I think my long-winded answer kind of showed that, you know, there's. It's easier if I have and I'm speaking to somebody and they're telling me the issues that they have and what their background is to be able to say this is what needs to be done. You know, training is an art as well as a science and you just can't throw shit in for the sake of throwing shit in. It doesn't work that way.